Hey everyone. So today is July 24th and tomorrow is going to be July 25th. Why do I mention the dates? Well, one month from tomorrow, July 25th, will be August 25th. And it's going to be a sad day. I turned 30, y'all. I'm going to be 30 years old. Do you know what that means? I mean, for my older subscribers, you've already been there, done that, you passed it, but I'm going to hit 30. I talked to my mother last week and I told her, hey, guess what, mom, I'm going to be 30. Next month she goes, yeah, guess what, in about two months I'm going to be 53. How do you think I feel? I have no idea what to do for my birthday. I, I'm flabbergasted every time that I plan something. Let's see, for my 20th birthday we plan, what do we plan? We plan Dave and Buster's dinner and games until like 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, and then afterwards, whoever didn't want to go to Dave & Buster's, we went to a club in New York City called Escalitas, which is a gay club, but it's Spanish, but it has a lot of hip-hop and stuff, and when I went to Dave & Buster's, the only people who showed up was uh, my friend and her girlfriend, and they didn't end up coming to the club, but when we went to the club, the only people who showed up was my friend Shane, her girlfriend at the time, and my sister-in-law, Amy. Birthdays and me are not compatible. One, my birthday is in August, which means no school parties. It means none of that during the school year because nobody's around during the summer. Number two, my birthday is exactly two days after my parents' wedding anniversary and exactly five days before my grandmother and my Aunt Christine's birthday. And my grandmother had died on July 22nd, 2006. So me and birthdays don't get along for that reason because I've always shared my birthday with my grandmother and being the fact that she's not around, me and birthdays don't get along. Number three, when I actually had a party for the first time ever in my life, I think I was turning 13 years old, we used a friend's backyard, we did barbecue and things like that. Two people showed up, two. A guy I was crushing on at the time, yes, I was 13 years old, his name was Patrick. And then um, our foreign exchange student who ended up staying in the States from South Korea. And throughout the whole party, my sister Kathleen was being a pain in the butt because she was 11 years old. There was a bee flying around and it, it was just the worst. Every time I try and plan a birthday party, nothing ever seems to go right. I don't even remember what I did last year. I don't think we did anything for my birthday last year. That's kind of sad. But I'm going to be 30. I want to do something. Something big. Something spectacular. I don't have a lot of money. I just got hired at Sports Authority, which is kind of like a Models or a Dick's, but bigger, at least here on the East Coast. So I'm working there in the children's place, but I want to do something big. I I think clubs are kind of played out lately. I haven't actually really been clubbing in a long time, but I'm going to be 30. Do you know how bad that is? In the gay community, it's kind of bad to be 30. You're, you're kind of... Um, what we considered out of your prime by then but we always tend to have fun whether you're over 30 or not I just I want to do something I'm gonna be 30 my parents wedding anniversary they're gonna be married 32 years on August 23rd I need that's why I'm making this video I need your help I want you to make um, a comment below down below and tell me what I should do for my birthday. Now I live in New Jersey, in northern New Jersey, so that's Belleville, Clifton, Kearney, Harrison, Newark, that kind of area. I can get to Hoboken pretty easily if I had to, or Jersey City, which is where a lot of some of the clubs are. I can easily get to New York City, that simple. Um, so anywhere within the New York, New Jersey area, 
tell me what you think I should do. I've done the tour of New York City. I've been to Times Square. My birthday is actually on a Saturday this time too. So fingers crossed that, you know, I'm not working that day or that weekend because usually if it's on a weekend, I tend to try and do something all weekend long. But yeah, that's kind of why I'm making this video because one, I haven't made a video in a while and the fact that I'm turning 30, it's a, a big milestone even for me. Um, I didn't think I was going to grow up to even stay 30 years old. And so, yeah. So let me know what I should do. And um, also I should let you know that the Summer Club giveaway with Rick and Born and Please is still out. We had to extend it. So go ahead and check those out at Rick and Born and Please 69 or on my channel. I do have a lids giveaway so for those of you who like hats or know people who like hats go ahead and do a video response to that uh we have our diva diva dodgeball video that just went up i recently did a um tag video with melissa about my girlfriend does our makeup does my makeup so you can go check that out it's pretty funny but let me know what should i do for my 30th birthday